Just a quick reminder about Eduphoria Help Desk. We are no longer going to use Help Desk for technology issues. We will be using from here on Incident IQ, which is this one right here. So when you first log into Incident IQ, you will more than likely see a video tutorial. Just go ahead and, and go through that training. It's, it's not long at all. Um, once you have gone through the training, the first thing you need to do is come right up here, click on my profile, and then you are going to connect your classroom to yourself, to your account. So what you need to do here, I'm going to go ahead and X out of this, you are going to look for your classroom number, hit the drop down arrow, go ahead and type in that number. Okay, and if this is my classroom number, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then select the plus sign. After your classroom has been added, in order to submit a ticket, there's actually a few ways. So I'm going to show you the first really quick and easy way. Now I'm going to come over here again to my name, click the drop down arrow, and then click my assets. Under my assets, I'm going to look to see which ones which devices are mine or which ones I use constantly, and I am going to make it my favorite. Okay, so when I make it my favorite, it's gonna come right up here. So one way that I can submit a ticket is, you go to my assets and then let's say my Dell E1905 is having issues. I'm gonna go ahead and select that asset, and then I can go ahead and submit a ticket here. You can either search for an issue, or if I know my display is kind of like messing up, uh, screen monitor doesn't turn on, it's distorted, issue not listed, I can go ahead and click one of these, and then go ahead and add some text, a description of what's going on, and then submit ticket. And that's it. The second way you could submit a ticket is to click right up here, new ticket. And it's going to ask you, okay, is it device, is it software? I'm going to go ahead and select device. I'm going to go ahead and see if it's one of my favorites here that I have previously selected. If not, I can come over here and maybe it is a copy machine. Okay, and if it's this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to tell, uh, select what is wrong with my printer. Again, add some more detail and then click Submit, and that's it.